Welcome back, LHS. My name is Abby. And my name is Max. We'll be your hosts. AP exams for the for May 9th and 10th are being rescheduled due to the school cancellations last week. The exams are AP Environmental Science and AP Psychology classes. They will be rescheduled for the 22nd and the 23rd of May. If you if you have any questions, please please contact your teachers. AP exams for this week include Computer Science Principles May 15th. Spanish and Biology May 16th, and Physics May 17th. Back of the graduation gown turn-in will be due Wednesday of this week in the front office. Any teacher interested in obtaining the Heart Saver license must contact Nurse Baird as soon as possible. It will take place Saturday, June 1st at 8 a.m. here at LHS. Last Tuesday, FFA was recognized at the Middle Tennessee Regional Awards Banquet. Miracle Brown was elected to the Mayor to the Middle Tennessee Regional Office team as a reporter. If you see her in the hallways, be, please be sure to congratulate her on this remarkable achievement. Your books are still on sale for faculty for $50. Be sure to get them while you can. Collection dates for this week include juniors on Monday, sophomores on Tuesday, and freshmen on Wednesday. Please have everything that ha was given to you by the school. Now let's check in with Colin for our sports updates. Hello everyone, welcome back to BDN Sports, I'm Colin. In the past week, our very own LHS soccer team beat Laverne 1-0, winning 5-4 in penalties to secure the first district title in program history. They will play Rockville in the first game of the regional tournament tonight, and hopefully continue this win streak. The first 50 students who show their ID at the game get in free, thanks to the basketball team. In sp professional sports news, the NBA and NHL are in the middle of their playoffs. The NBA series left are the Celtics up 3-1 over Cavs, Knicks and Pacers tied, Mavericks tied with the Thunder, and Nuggets and Timberwolves tied. In NHL news, the series left are the Rangers up 3-2 over Hurricanes, Panthers 3-1 up over Bruins, Can Canucks up 2-1 over Oilers, and the Stars up 3-1 over Avalanche. It's going to be a fun finish to both of these sports this seasons. In other sports news, the MLB is kicking off into full gear, with the Orioles leading the American League and the Phillies leading the National League. A pretty good start to the MLB season. One final thing, cross-country tryouts are June 5th at 9.30 a.m. Make sure you bring a physical and a water bottle. Well, this has been BDN Sports. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks, Colin. Now for the weather. Today's weather report is cloudy with a 75% chance of rain around 3. We'll have high in the mid-70s and low around 60s. Tomorrow morning, it'll be cloudy with temps in the low 60s on the way to school. That's all for today. I'm Max. And I'm Abby. This has been the news to you. From the white and blue. What's up, LHS? Today we have Holden and Coach Carter here, and we're going to see who can throw the football farther. You can't pass this line. <laughs> Yeah! Where's my contract? You ready? Yep. <laughs> that one was further. How did he do that? <laughs> no, no. I would tell the people over it that way to brace for impact. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> All right, so moral of the story, Holden cannot, in fact, throw farther than the football coach, but stay tuned for next time. Give me that, give me that. <laughs> no, thank you! <laughs> yeah, still not as far. If that, that throwing performance from Holden camp was the most pitiful thing I think I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. Still can't catch. <laughs>